Okay, here's a method that you can use to uh, to copy an existing uh, dumb surface with a, a smart surface. I took a, uh, a surface that I created in SolidWorks just using splines, and I copied it. So this is a dumb copy. Well, it's, it's a copy that's associated to the original, but I can't change this in its, on its own. So I'm just going to work with this surface and show you how I would go about, you know, I'm treating this as an imported surface, showing you how I would go about um, making an edit. So uh, the first thing I'll do is create a 3D sketch, and you'll have to excuse my dog, she's a little excitable. Um, Okay, so I, I've opened a 3D sketch, and then I'm going to go in and use the uh, uh, what's called the face curves function. And face curves will allow you to select a face and then tell it, you know, how many curves you want in the U and V directions. Um, and you can tell it to constrain it to the model if you want to, but really what we're after is not constraining it to the model because we want uh, we want to make an edit to it. So then I'll hit the green check, and these lines are all blue. So let me just hide the uh, surface body, and so I've got to let's hide the original too here. And now I've got a set of curves. Well, these are really easy. So I can go to the surfaces and use the boundary surface. And in one direction, you know, you're going to have to use the uh, selection manager here. So click on a line, then right click to accept. Click, right click, click, right click, click, right click, click, right click. Uh, click and right click. Okay, now you can go in direction two if you want to do that as well to get the, the lines in the other direction, but uh, this is really good enough for what we're doing. All right, so now I've got a surface that's kind of like my original, um, and I should be able to go in and edit it. Well, except that none of these curves that I've used has any points on it. So what I can do to add points to these curves, these splines, is right click on the spline and just say either convert to spline or convert to style spline, whichever way you want to work. I'll just click on uh, convert to spline. You see I've got several points on here. Now I can take these points and drag them around. Uh, I could take all the curves that I didn't use, all the because these are going to get distracting after a while. Take all of these and either delete them or use the uh, construction geometry to, uh, to kind of uh, phantom them out a little bit. But I'll just delete them. So now I can, I can edit this spline however I want. <laughs> okay, so it... Uh, it, it blew up. So what happened was that when I converted that spline, it changed its internal ID so that the boundary surface doesn't really see it anymore. You can fix that sort of thing. Uh, you go in here and just delete the delete the one that you changed and reselect it. Now, of course, it it gets added to the end of the list, and you have to push it to the beginning of the list like that, 